what's up guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel this is eccentric rockstar seed i don't know why i started saying it like that but it's fun okay i'm here with a, a collect a, a very creative intellectual thought-provoking conversationalist message will make for great conversation that's strong conversing keep in mind take what resonate leave off what doesn't it's for everybody no particular sign over another i got the naked truth is better than the best dressed lie okay some people live with the purpose of live live through their purpose like a man does not proceed through life without purpose he can and he won't versus most people believe that ultimately successful like in their mind there it's an illusion but in their mind or they're made to be persuaded into thinking that to keep trouble away they should be more patronized and led to believe or just to pretend like it comes from a place a space of pretending or a place of fear of being authentic you know they believe ultimate success is to be the best dressed lie and i wrote a very handsome boy you if you look at my last videos, I describe the difference between a boy and a man. Okay, this is Starseed Edition. This is con it's conformance. They have a system. They follow that system. And then you have non-conformance. Okay? Alright. I'm going to shuffle these cards. your day i hope it's all well i hope all is well i did a, a layout like this before where i use several decks a, a few cards from several decks to create a message or to create the just for added confirmation of the message sometimes i'm led to do that sometimes i'm not I see angel numbers 111 and 77. 77 can break down to a five because seven plus seven is 14. You put a one and a four together, it's a five, but it can also break down the other way into a three. Like 111 can break down to a three if you add it all together. I hear you practice both microcosm and macrocosm, 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 soul and spirit, a balance of soul and spirit. You have it both ways. You're getting your flowers. Some of you are receiving your flowers for all that you do. Like you're receiving thank you notes. Thank you for all that you do. I'm using my crystals too. Is that everything? For now, that's everything. Right, let's move that over. All right, you have Gaia. Shine on. Told you. All all good things are wild and free. You could be forty, or and that's a one. So forty and a one breaks down. 41 but it also breaks down to a five and can be also broken down to a three when i see this card in the yogi deck this is like my chariot card. You see how she looks old? If you can see it on the camera, she looks very like life kicked her butt, but she's moving forward anyway, because she's been through enough. And then you have this card, okay? 
advanced state of meditation. Absorption of self. Absorption in the self. You show us signs of spiritual progress. I feel like the energy of this reading is about ampl amplification. Amplify. That's the that's the whole word that this, these cards are going to describe that. Okay, that overall meaning. Being wild and free. Like that that talks about being at an important time in your life when you're being guided to lead from your heart. So you could have been doing the heart chakra obviously is open and you're doing some healing. And Gaia is talking about the right time or soon or is about to be the right time for things to come together for you. So that's what, I guess that's what it meant where I said you're getting your flowers. If there's something that you really, really like really believe in, but have been waiting a very long time to bring it to life or to succeed. So I feel like what I'm it seems like you've been doing the work for a long time and you've been waiting for it to succeed, like the seven of pentacles. Okay? But it's good news because something new is hatched already. You know what I mean? Like it's I, I feel like you so in you're so heavily focused in doing the work that you don't realize that it's hatched. So like when you're when you're being made aware of it, you know, it could be a little startling, you know, it's like a you you look you just like stop working so much and like shift your focus, like look up and pay attention to what you've accomplished around you. You know, it's real. Like it's something new. Like you you're in a new space, you're in a different space. Uh, you know, free, like you're wild and free. But that doesn't I don't say that from the space of negative cognotation. You know, you got new life is forming. I said seven of pentacles. That's also a card of fertility. So some people could be ex expanding their family. But I think this is just a new phase of life in hindsight. The universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself absolutely and then you got you deserve love you are lovable and i see here you made the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take but you also have a balance of spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces your moon could be in pisces and now you have take time to breathe out stop and smell the roses look at what you've already accomplished like light like you you this is somebody I respect because they're so dedicated and focused on what they're trying to accomplish. It don't really hit them. That's a good, that's, that's, to me, that's a strong space to be in because they're not persuaded by foolish distractions. Think about it. Have you been noticing the spiritual progress, the signs of spiritual progress, what your daily life has brought to you? In that place of like stillness, all that you've learned, and it is there for you to experience. You're talking physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, that deep level of awareness due to your efforts and discernment, you know, and good choices. You're, you got just do coming your way. You got rewards on the way into your life. I heard God said, keep up the great work. Because you strengthened up qualities in your character from the understanding of others, the tenacity, inner strength of yourself, empath, being an empath, all your psychic, a lot, your whatever your psychic abilities are, clairvoyancy, clairaudiency, any of the clairs, okay, even if you feel, if you receive downloads physically, like somatic psychic senses. Any of them, whatever one that, that resonates with you, they're sharper. Spiritual enlightenment, development, spiritual awakening, and your divine life purpose. So when I look at the angel number 77, that's what I get. Inner wisdom and intuition. And I feel like this is a this is somebody is a teacher by nature. 
and you're in a room full of dictators and you can't teach what you don't apply to your day-to-day -day life and that's the lesson and that's the your your character the way you carry yourself what you speak out your mouth and what you how you put it into your day-to-day -day practice speaks for yourself for itself it, it doesn't matter you know what people say against you what the dictators are trying to do to stop your movement okay you have aromatherapy you receive downloads through smell <coughs> excuse me that's 33 again 30 a 3 and a 36 or it could be 39 someone could be 39 okay you could be three weeks pregnant or three months pregnant i see that from the plants the budding plants some of you movement it shades see how the aura is around her it keeps your energy balanced i almost feel like i'm talking or um bouncing around a little bit but as i already said this is about amplifying on business and awareness spiritual awareness okay so the card that i said looks like the chariot that's the card that represents disappointment and letting go because you realize that all your hardships and struggles you faced brought you on your path for a very important reason and how they shaped you it talks about how they shape you to be the person you're meant to be the way you put all the dots together in, in very difficult points hence this woman looks like beat down in this picture so don't you know it's reminding you to give thanks for all your struggles they made you your higher self your highest self like you don't get higher than that like you you've won now i see i hear the godfather you've won michael you want to wipe everybody out and michael said i don't feel i have to wipe everyone out just my enemies okay this is where he's trying to, he's he this is the end of the second godfather where he's saying he's asking tom to come along with him while he settle his family business more about wild being wild and free from a spiritual standpoint you it's like your heart was never meant to be tamed it's it's always truthful you know you can't be you can't dictate truth i don't know a better way to say that i don't think there is a better way to say that look up soar number 55 is 1 through 78 because that's compatible with what the message is here. When you allow yourself to be true to your heart, it will show you how to create a beautiful contribution to this world that fills you up. You know, it's about joy and peace. You don't ever have to be ashamed of what you feel or apologize or be persuaded that you should feel differently. That's where the wisdom is, is in your heart. It's beyond the logic of the mind. You tamed your ego. You know, it has its own creative genius and a unique way to reframe the problem. And it attracts solutions and empower us to bring forth justice. A lot of people are afraid of wild, being wild and free. That's what it brings me to. I see the Ace of Cups and I see the Nine of Swords in reverse. Like the Nine of Swords in reverse is a, could be a, a super intellect in regards of having the, the wits to know not to be worried or stressed through the, the points of struggle. Okay, the Ace of Cups is that opportunity. You took the opportunity to be that kind of wild and free. Even on a picture of Gaia, she has a butterfly on her head. I mean this could be some of you blue eyes green eyes red hair fire fire signs stick out but it could be anybody embodying that spiritualist 
Gaia is more practical, has the, more, the earth, earth, earthy people. And or air. See how she has eggs in her nest waiting for them to hatch. What else? It's about a new beginning. Just like 111. It's about a new beginning. If anybody tried to pin on you or make defamation against your character, I feel like this is the reading that's ironing out all of those wrinkles that was attempted to be put on your character. Okay? You have inner wisdom and intuition. Don't feel a need to have to explain too much, but this reading is meant to say it all. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but it says it all. And it gets right to the point. So as you're taking time to breathe out, I don't know if that's being perceived as a sign of weakness by people who can only, like don't really understand or don't go that real, that real deep, go really go deep with you, but you have a plan, okay? Anticipate setbacks and failures. Plan for them. Don't let them drain your energy. Use them as fuel to go after your dreams. What did 50 Cent say in The Hustler's Ambition? I need you. I need to, to use you for your energy. Okay? Makes me better. Makes me stronger. Okay? Flow. Hustle and flow. You get more done by entering the flow state. I think that's what that nine of swords was in reverse. Like you got the, you got common sense, you know, completely and joyfully focus on what you're working on without multitasking. What I take from that is don't be worrying about what didn't go right. Keep going, work with what does go right. Cause you're going to keep learning stuff as you go along. Mistakes is how you learn. Automate. I think the automate stems from a, a nice flow. You know, develop ways to add that passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Exactly. Take time to breathe out. That's all you do is work. And I'm not hating. I'm all for it. Because all I do is work. But you have to rejuvenate. Have a cup of coffee on me. Relax. Business can be exhausting. Give yourself time to nourish your body and refresh your spirit with a deep sense of well-being. This is telling a lot about how grounded you are, yet free. So you're not too stubborn, you know, to balance, to, to have balance, you know, to get some joy out of life. Like, you're, this is you taking time to yourself out of sincere wisdom. You're taking advice. You're learning from your previous foolish mistakes of work, 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 work. And then you crash. That doesn't make any sense. You don't see good results that way. Especially with the aromatherapy. This is, this is self-love here. Okay? You focus on the things that keep you grounded and you meditate. You got strong prayer habits, as they say. But more importantly, rest. Because when you move your body, whether you have an exercise regimen or something, it has to count. It won't count for nothing. <laughs> when you're too exhausted but as a mass communicator broadcast you're on the air develop your unique voice so you're mastering your craft i see three of pentacles seven of pentacles eight of pentacles then get your message out to your ideal audience so this is something you practice practice three of pentacles is practice it's more than just collaboration it's a lot about practice and perfecting what you're trying to do consider starting a podcast or a radio show a lot of you are other readers or teachers or advisors, counselors, concierges, as I like to say. Journal. So you don't so you're not overwhelmed by too many different thoughts and they just sporadic all over the place. Keep your journal of biz keep a journal of your business journey. So you have a spiritual journey, you also have a business journey. So you're a dual of both writing down all your dreams, desires, and goals. Paint a picture of the lifestyle you want and review it daily. I feel like this is teaching people how to do it without pointing out that they're making a mistake, 
by making assumptions about you or forming conclusions based off assumptions about you because you you and your you and your your flow of things you don't really i guess you might hear things in passing because you have to network so right now i feel like you're you're the a part of you mastering your business and your spiritual journey because you have both your spiritual awareness business and spiritual awareness you are learning who to network with and who's not worth the time. Who's not going to grow with you. Because the whole mission is to build an authentic brand. You know, you want to master how you want to be able to teach people how to accumulate a million dollars in a 12 month time span. Meaning you take the 12 months to build goals to reach every so often to be able to to be quite to even be capable of accumulating at least one million dollars that's the type of stuff i think you are learning learn work with a mentor to implement the right strategies to get the business results you want be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn that's about yeah, you are definitely a student. To be a teacher, you have to be a student. Otherwise, you're just a dictator. Okay. Stop right there. I see you built up your confidence with making the effort and knowing that you deserve this. You deserve love. This is a self-love advocate you've become a self-love advocate the poster child for self-love <laughs> all right what would my let's see what the what my cards say what does the tarot card say and don't forget to like share and subscribe people want to know how you're doing it like Honestly, people don't know what you do. They can't articulate it. So they make up stuff. And you enjoy it secretly. This is a star seed edition, or I should say a light worker, light workers edition. I want to amplify you and you can't teach what you don't apply to your day-to-day -day life. I feel like what that means is whatever the, if there's like some kind of rumor or somebody trying to stop your hustle and flow, stop your bag, what have you, stop people from wanting to be around you, stop people from wanting to do business with you. I think that speaks more to your spiritual practice. Some people know things about you and then while others know other things about you and they really can't connect the dots with you, this is where the balance of spirituality and practical practicality are with you. And that's what I also get with, with these two cards with Gaia. See how that's earthly, more earthy and grounded. And this is a that's value too. And you also have all good things are wild and free. That's spirit spiritual. Like your spirituality. People think you can't be spiritual and religious. It doesn't make any sense. You have to be have some sense of spirituality established how people practice it varies from one person to the next like how they're how do i want to say it? how you're called to articulate a message if you're meant to be on a platform to to advise people to be a teacher everybody's way of doing it everybody's creativity takes them in different directions without the intention without making a a, a good intention yet creating a bad deed like a good intention doesn't make a bad deed good that's not that's not the intention that's not the motive also while you're taking time to breathe out i think it's it might be rallying up the community because you're starting to get some some form of recognition 
I think you went quiet or went introverted. You don't really have time. And don't from what these cards are saying, it don't feel like you really have time for socializing. Oh shit. We're in a uh, an inflation and a recession. I wouldn't have time to socialize neither. But uh let's talk about it. You can't teach what you don't apply to your day-to-day -day life. And other I feel like what the oh yeah, I feel like what that means is if somebody's mistaken what you do for work, if it has a negative cognotation attached to it based off somebody running their mouth, it's going to be clarified with that Ace of Cups I saw and a Nine of Swords in reverse for you. Like this, somebody's meaning to like stress you out. It's going to be, you have that opportunity to pr go ahead with what you're doing and pursue that emotional fulfillment. You know, you're really good at what you do. You know, you're real passionate and you're serious minded and business minded and grounded in who you are and what you're about to do next. So you are you have all the qualities to be the leader, to delegate the situation without having to say too much, without having to do too much, without really having to jump out of your character or allow or, or let people inspire you to jump out of your character. So if somebody thinks you're doing something dark, this reading is going to clarify all of that for you with God's permission. If somebody thinks you're doing something illegitimate or think you're like some kind of phony or fraud or just somebody who's illegitimate, completely illegitimate. It's going to be ironed out. I said that a couple times, but like I said, the word, the root word for all that I have to say or what I'm called to say right now is amplify. So um, I see the, the scene where you're like, it's like, so visualize you're in the courtroom. You got people who are speaking against you who sign affidavits. Okay. They sign affidavits and there's like, like, like in the Godfather movie, like you had the people who's bucking, who ratted on Michael Corleone. And they signed affidavits and they testified, they tried to testify against them, you know, but him, you know how Michael, if you saw the movie, you know how Michael Corleone moves. Okay. He's very intelligent. He's very intelligent and he's very strategic. And he also had military training on top of that. Okay. Like he knows a lot. He knows better than any of his opponents, anybody who's ever worked under him. And you know what's crazy? Half the people, the people that turned on him were not that close to him. They were just soldiers. So they had a, they had what you call a buffer. They had somebody who would deliver the message for Michael Corleone. They never really, they really, they really ever, if ever, spoke to him directly. So these are, I'm, what I'm getting from that is people who are speaking about you or speaking on your name or anything that you do, you don't even know them. You've never had the pleasure of being formally introduced to them. You've never shaken their hand. They've never said hello to you. You don't even know what these people look like. But they seemingly want to know everything about you or think they have you figured out. So the start of a new beginning. And it's like when it all, when they form their conclusion and they're ready to show their face, you're going to be, you. it's like judgment. I see the judgment card and I see the sun card. It's going to be illumination. You're going to be called to speak on your character as to who you are and what you do. And you're going to say something along the lines of you can't teach what you don't apply to your day-to-day -day life. So if, if you're a person who is God-fearing or proclaimed to have a, a vintage friendship with God, it's an impossibility to practice darkness, to simplify it, to put it in more simpler terms. Or if you're by yourself a lot or you stay to yourself a lot, it's an impossibility to do illegitimate business. It's impossible for anybody to say what kind of business you do if they don't have direct business dealings with you and you don't have communicate, direct communication with anybody.
amplified. And the man in the courtroom, if you remember in the beginning, the senator is who